there. Just reading an old novel. Welcome to the first episode of the Man Grumbles podcast video blog known as The Grumbles Report. I'm your host, Ben. You may know me from the Man Grumbles podcast as well as my co host, Chris. Say hi, Chris. Hello. And uh, Henry, Dr. Hank, uh, who is not here today. In this video blog, we're going to be reporting on everything, whether it's reviews on movies, uh, television, uh, comic books, games, uh, especially in my field where I love, I'm an enthusiast of graphic novels and stuff like that. We'll be reviewing today this graphic novel known as Batman Year One, written by Frank Miller and art by Dave Mazzucchelli. Now, in this story, in this particular story, actually, um, this has to do with the first year Batman became Batman. Basically, if you guys seen the movie Batman Begins, uh, directed by Christopher Nolan, then you have a good idea what this story is about. Which indifference between Batman Begins and, and uh, of course, Batman Year One, this story explains the underlining details, which will go between Gotham City, stuff from the Gotham TV show that you may know, like um, uh, Falcone, uh, Commissioner Loeb, characters like that. But just the artwork itself in this book is beautiful. Dave Mazzucchelli did a great job. There's that famous iconic pic of uh, Batman, uh, young Bruce Wayne and his family slaughtered. And uh, other Commissioner Gordon stuff. <laughs> But anyways, if you're maybe you're not too interested in reading maybe the graphic novel of this, there is a film adaptation of it. Chris? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Batman Year One. This is the Blu-ray edition. I got it for about five bucks at um, five and below, but they do have it on Amazon for about the same price. This is a pretty good adaptation of that um, graphic novel, considering that Commissioner Gordon is played by Brian Cranston, and Batman is played by, um, hopefully I get his name right, Ben McKenzie, who plays Commissioner Gordon in the Gotham TV series. So if you're a fan of that, you would definitely be a fan of this movie. The art style is a little anime, but besides that, you could probably get around to it. It's very serious. It's about a PG-13 movie. I won't consider it like a PG movie. This isn't a movie for kids, but I highly recommend it. Now, um... One last final note on this graphic novel that I'm reviewing. Uh, I would like to say that the colors are very bright, uh, bright and vibrant. They do not feel old, the pages, if you're one who's into reading books and stuff like that. They will not wear away. Uh, price range, um, you could probably get you get this from Barnes & Noble for about 15 bucks. If you go on Amazon, you can get it for about 10 bucks, more or less. Um, but that's all I want to say on our first review of Batman Year One. Just a little hint out there on this short review. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Hope everyone could pick this up. For any Batman person who loves Batman and stuff like that, this is a main book to have. This and some other books that I will be describing. But um, this is one of the best books. Oh, a little tidbit. You get to see um, what we know as the Halle Berry Catwoman in this book, which is basically um, an African-American uh, Catwoman. It looks very good. It may sound like crazy considering that movie did so horrible and it was like the worst movie ever, but... It is actually a very, very good depiction of this Catwoman. Um, a lot better than uh, at least that chick in The Dark Knight Rises. I forget her name. But whatever. And enjoy this review. And uh, check out the Man Grumbles podcast. It comes out every Saturday and Friday um, of every week. Unless we say so, obviously. Mm -hmm. And uh, signing off from Ben. And I'm Chris. <laughs> so long.